I'm Mike from Fierce Kayaking. Uh, just wanted to go over some trailer stuff with you today. This is a Continental trailer. We purchased it from West Coast Trailer, Don, over in Port Charlotte. Him and his staff are very knowledgeable. They can help you out with any trailer needs that you have. We got this one from him. This is a three kayak hauler. You can put three kayaks on this one, stack them straight up. Very handy to have, especially if you have more than one kayak trying to haul these things back and forth from the beach or your launch spot. Um, trailer is the only way to go, I'll tell you. Um, you load them up, you throw them in the garage. When you want to go the next time, you literally drag it out, hook it up, and go. An idea I wanted to tell you all about, which a lot of people may not have thought of, is mounting a toolbox or what's called a tough box onto the trailer itself. Very handy. A lot of people see this and never came up with the idea or thought about mounting a toolbox like this. What we do is we put all of our gear inside the box. After we get back, we rinse everything off. It's dry. Store it all back in the box. Next time we want to go, nothing to load, hook up, and go. The toolbox is a great idea. Thing you have to remember about purchasing a used toolbox, know that two of these toolboxes are exactly the same size. So if you go out to purchase a used toolbox, take your stuff with you, make sure what you want to put in your box is going to fit. Because if you get a box and your stuff doesn't fit, you're just wasting the time and the effort of buying the box. But um, great idea having a box on here. And you always want to have a spare tire because you don't ever want to get a flat and have to leave your rig sitting on the side of the road somewhere. So don't forget the spare tire. Like we discussed earlier um, on the toolbox on the trailer, as you can see, we got all of our equipment in here. We carry some some baits, tackle, um, different items like that. Fishing stuff can go in here. Your seat for your kayak, your melt crates, which almost everybody I know carries a melt crate on the back of their kayak. We got our paddles in here. Everything's ready to go. All the stuff we need, when we need it, where we need it. A lot of the toolboxes have locks on them, so if you're traveling somewhere and you stay overnight, you can lock your kayaks on the trailer and lock all your gear right inside the to toolbox. Safe and secure and ready to go when you need it. Just like locking up the toolbox, you want to be able to lock the kayaks onto the trailer, so you just use a simple cable with a lock on it, run it through the hoops that are riveted to the kayak. Once again, as we discussed locking the kayak to the trailer, you want to attach your cable to something on the kayak that's secure not just screwed on, but actually riveted to the kayak. And the, the uh, FS-12T has these hoops in the back, so we went through those. And once again, they are riveted to the kayak, so somebody can't just unscrew it and take your kayak. So if you have any comments, suggestions, or anything you'd like us to review, visit our website, FierceKayaking.com. You can also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.